Hey everyone, my name is Oliver and welcome to Upstairs, a platform focused on architectural representation and visualization. And our goal here is to explore this world and share knowledge with this community. We want to help you guys thrive and perform amazingly in your schools or jobs. Uh, but you know that I don't come up with everything that I teach here, right? Just like designing a new project, you go around gathering references and studying other buildings. For me, learning and then teaching here follows a similar path. So then I thought, why not share some of the places I go to learn new things and keep up to date with quality visuals and drawings that are coming out, right? So this video is exactly that, a list of creators or websites that I often see myself checking them out for new knowledge. Some you may already know and some will probably be new. And then to complete the circle, I'd love to hear from you guys, where do you go to seek inspiration and learn new things? Now it's worth pointing out that learning new things doesn't necessarily come from a tutorial or an online course. Uh, looking and analyzing great images, drawings and projects can come a long way to elucidate you with new possibilities. Now this video can be seen as a quick guide or helpful list, so make sure to save it to come back later whenever you need it. And not to spoiler too much, but our website will have a blog section, uh, so whenever this is available there, there's also be a written version of this quick list. Long intro, I know, but let's jump into it. So this list is not necessarily in order from best to worst, but I had to start with this as the first one, since it impacted so much when I was starting. Visualizing Architecture by Alex Hography. It's where I discovered architecture visualization uh, as something more than part of the design process, uh, a skill that you could improve that would greatly enhance your ability to present a project. Back in the day, he used to create YouTube videos, but then he moved to a blog format only. The images presented on his website are probably one of the best ones out there, in my opinion. He tells stories with each image, and for me, every single one of them is really unique. Now, I forgot to say, but all the links will be in the video description if you want to check them out later. So his blog posts are shaped in a tutorial format, but they don't really go in depth in how the image was created from the software aspect. He emphasizes more on the process and on the point of view of composition, depth, proportions and so on. Nevertheless, you can definitely learn a lot from it. So next up, Archi9. They are a visualization studio that produces high quality, ultra realistic images. This reference, I see more of, a, of an inspiration than something I want to fully implement in my workflow. They are a team focused on visualizing someone's project, so it's hard to compare ourselves to their work, when as architects we still got projects to design, clients or professors to deal with, and a bunch of other things that are part of the architect's profession. And then sometimes we even take on the images individually and not as a team. But that doesn't mean that we can't look up to people doing greatness. So they've got a soap brand dedicated to teaching their skills, and they emphasize a lot on matte painting techniques to create each image. It might be, it might be a bigger step than most of us can take, but implementing a few things here and there drastically improved my images, and I'm still learning a lot from them. Their YouTube channel is amazing, and although we all wish they posted more frequently there, we know they must be jammed with so much work. Again, just like the last one, they don't focus too much on rendering settings or modeling tips and tricks, but more about the composition and story aspects. And on the same type of content, you can check out Horoma Studio. They started way earlier than I did, and then I think they stopped for some time, and I recently saw that they came back with critique and teardown videos. And if I can be honest with you, I think you can learn a lot from these type of videos. And I guess aside from visualizing architecture, the first, uh, the first one that I talked about, these other two I would take more on a lighter note, as I said, especially if you're not looking to become a full-time archivist professional, but rather incorporate a few fundamentals into your current workflow. Now we're moving a little bit away from architecture itself, but before we do that, I want to thank today's video sponsor. Uh, since we're talking about learning stuff online, I reached out to Skillshare to partner up for this video and give a thousand premium membership to my followers. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspired classes for creators, where you can explore new skills and deepen existing passions. You can learn about productivity with Thomas Frank, Artivism with Nicholas Smith, 
and portrait photography with Jessica Kubesi, and many more. Lately, I've been learning more about the fundamentals of DSLR photography with Justin Bridges. To properly use the basic settings in camera, ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. The lessons are curated specifically for learning, which means that there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. So with a very affordable $10 a month annual subscription, you get access to all of that. So the first 1000 people to use my link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, so sponsors help us maintain this YouTube channel up and running with free content. I hope you understand. Now, as I said, we're moving a bit away from architecture itself to talk about knowledge that can help you in your journey. The Future talks about design in its many fields, uh, like typography, graphic design, uh, motion graphics, and so on. And architects can benefit so much from learning the principles of design. It will help you compose uh, better boards for competitions, better presentations to clients, better portfolios, and I would say that even help you design better projects and become a better architect overall. So they actually go beyond design and teach about the business side of it, and also on the personal side of it with productivity content. So definitely check their YouTube channel as I feel that watching a few videos here and there can start to increase your repertory. So we're going to come back to actual architecture stuff in just a minute, but one that I had to place on this list is Ben Marriott. I've been following him since the beginning and this dude just blew up. I really like his content and I thought of sharing that with you. If you want to touch upon your motion design skills, learn a bit about After Effects, Illustrator, Graphic Design and Illustration, uh, this is a great place to do so. I feel that we need sometimes to step away from architecture to gather inspiration and then come back with fresh and new ideas. Now other channels to learn motion graphics that I'm subscribed are Motion Design School and School of Motion. And now listen, creating architecture shouldn't rely just on studying other architects and other projects. I, I think I've said this many times here on the channel already, but learning about other stuff like photography, uh, painting, art, history, and many other fields can help you become a better architect as a whole. Okay, so now we're talking about mastering Photoshop as a tool, Benny Productions is the person you're looking for. The skills used there might not be entirely related to architecture visualization, but again, if you learn 2% of what he does, I bet you your images will improve drastically. But I would just recommend his channel if you've got the basics of Photoshop sorted out, otherwise you will feel a bit lost there. But this list is about the high quality websites and creators that I follow to learn. There are a ton of basic videos and tutorials out there, uh, even here on YouTube. And then the next one is an architect that I admired a lot and that I've come to know through YouTube. I'm talking about Eric Reinhold from 30x40 Workshop. Most of you probably already know his channel, so I'm not gonna comment too much on him. But 30x40 Workshop is a great source of inspiration both for the design process and how he runs his small practice. Well, I could maybe go on and on here on with this list, talk about firms that I like, illustrators that are creating phenomenal work, but maybe for another video, if this is something you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna finish this video of course mentioning Steven's channel. Show You Better is a great place to learn not only visualization, but also representation of all kinds. He has some really high quality content there. I think most of you probably already know him. If not, highly recommend taking a look. And even though we're sort of on the same path, I also learn a lot from him. There's room for everyone here. And also in many different architecture niches, uh, not only about what we talk here, uh, representation and visualization, but in many different fields. And I don't see the people that I mentioned uh, in this video or the people that I'm gonna mention in the end as competitors, but more as peers and collaborators to this amazing community. That's why I wanted to make this list. So to wrap things up, I'm gonna rapid fire some other channels that might interest you guys. And don't forget to leave in the comments if I forgot any or other websites or blogs that you go to learn and seek inspiration. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget some, but here we go. Archihacks, Architecture Inspiration, TN3D Studio, Archi Marathon, Leon Austria, Thomas Roundtree, Full Circle, Blast Arc, Surviving Architecture, Successful Archie Student, Archie School, Luminous Lab, Nuno Silva, and Idea Urbi. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like. 
and subscribe to not miss out on future content. If you haven't watched our last video, we talked about Alvaro de Siza and one of his work. So I'm going to leave on the suggestions on this side for you to check it out. See you in the next one. Bye.